when did you hear about everything that was happening here and you know what made it your gut instinct to you know help out yeah well um so i was actually in arkansas all weekend on a work trip trying to you know learn about some more projects going on in the upcoming events and uh got on facebook and my grandpa and grandma texted me about the events <laughs> that's fine okay uh, texted me about the events, you know, that happened down in southern Oklahoma, and uh, really didn't know anything about how how crazy it was until I got on Facebook and started seeing the news, you know, coverages of everything, and it, it broke my heart just to see, you know, basically people's people's livelihood broken. That's one of my buddies, but uh, just to see people's livelihoods broken, and uh, just really just trying to, you know, get back in a time of need. That's the big thing. machinery that not many people have and and just be able to provide that just some relief from from what happened you know saturday night what are some things that you've been doing here in sulfur to help out um our main thing that we've been doing is there's been crazy tree damage so we've had uh we've had about four or five different skid steers here um, all with the same group and then one was a big uh big track out and uh just mainly just pulling trees that have been you know pushed over by all the rain and the wind that are you know 60 inch in diameter trunk trees, you know cottonwoods, elms, etc. So just tree work, um, opening up some roads for public works to be able to get in there, and stuff like that. Um, have you done this? Uh, well, I assume you have a farm background or, or <laughs> of some sort. What, what is what is your background? Uh, so growing up, I did farm. Um, I lived in Canadian County when I grew up, and so I, I farmed for quite a different people, quite a bit of different people. In Canadian County, and then just kind of you know grew up on a tractor per se from my father. Mm-hmm. So always been a been an equipment person. And this equipment is part of your company. Yes, sir. Um, I guess ha- have you seen the reactions from people around town as you've been helping out? And if so, of what, what have they been saying to you? Uh, very grateful. Never had a, a, a bad you know or a, a, a bad interaction with somebody per se. Uh, I did have one person the the first person that we helped Monday morning had a big uh, elm tree through her house, I mean, through her master bedroom. And she was walking around her property and I, I stopped and got on my skid steer and talked to her. I said, ma'am, is there anything that, you know, we can help you with? I see that you have a tree, you know, in your backyard per se. And she said, yeah, she's like, how much, you know, how much to get that taken care of? And I said, no, it's, it's all free. You know, we're just here to donate some time. And she, I mean, she teared up a little bit, which made me tear up a little bit. And then we walked around the side of her house to look at the tree. And she didn't realize that it was going through her house, and she just broke down. And it was everything I could do not to not to be very sad with her. And you so. said that you guys are all 25 or under. Yes, uh, sir. Is this your first time sort of helping out with storm damage recovery? And if so, uh, wh- what do you think of this? I mean, the damage just driving through town is just crazy. It, it, I mean, it looks like a bomb went off. It truly does. You don't you you see stuff on the news, and then you see it in real life, and it's way different. Um, just the being here and seeing, you know, all the insulation from every house being just scattered. I mean, you can go in that field, you know, for half a mile, and there will be tin metal and stuff in that field. And uh, with with me being so young, uh, this is de- definitely my first big tornado, you know, relief help. Um, there's been a couple that we've helped on as far as ice storms and stuff, but never, never something like this. Um. Uh, today was mainly uh, so. Today was mainly clear some stuff for linemen. Uh, there's been a ton of linemen trucks here. I don't know the terminology for them, but just trying to you know give them as much uh, as much help to you know get power onto some of these houses and you know stores and businesses to to you know try and restake what they what they've made for themselves. Does it feel kind of rewarding, or does it give you a good feeling to kind of help people when they're down, you know, dealing with something as 
you know, as big as this. Oh, very, very. If, if I could make it, you know, my whole life, just paying my bills and doing this, I, I would. I would. I, I wouldn't need to make any more money, per se. I just, giving back is what, you know, makes <laughs> makes me, you know, feel feel really good about what I'm doing in this world. How long so. do you guys expect to uh, be down here in Sulphur? How long uh, this will probably be the last day. Got to go back home and actually, you know, do some of our our, uh, our customer jobs. I think they'd get mad at me if I if I stay down here. But and that's in Guthrie. Yes, sir. Yeah, Guthrie. Gotcha. Um, Travis, do you have any questions for him? Or uh, so is there anybody you know, around? I know you said you were helping somebody as we were driving up. Is there like how close is that? Uh, uh a mile. It's it's just <laughs> to get to. no. It's easy to get to. It's just it's ugly. It'd be great for TV. <laughs> Let you know that. Um, I guess in the meantime, is there anything else I haven't asked you that you want to add? Yeah. So the the guys that I was working with, I would love to talk about them a little bit. Sure. Um, so a couple of the guys that were here with me, you know, that worked, you know, just alongside me, or even harder than I worked. Um, one guy was named um, Landon Sprouting. He's a good buddy of mine from Marietta, Oklahoma. And then uh, Brendan Beggs out of Shawnee. And then <clears throat> uh, Taylor Dockerman's out of Mustang. And, and I'm, sh I'm sure it kind of makes it an easier job when there's so many people, uh, part of your group, you know, trying to make a change here in a good way. Yes, very. I mean, that, whenever, you know, people think of contractors, you know, sometimes they get a, oh, they just want to make a quick buck. You know, uh, what we want to do is, you know, try and make a name for ourselves. Our, our last name would carry a lot of weight, you know, per se, because it's, it's what we you know, technically live for. It's our livelihood. So to, uh, to basically keep that last name, you know, to be entrusted to so many people, it's a, it's a big thing to us.